I'm wearing like different hats right now. I started as an actor, then I became a TV host. Now I'm a CEO, I'm a founder, I'm an author, I'm a motivational speaker. Now I don't have one profession, I have different professions. I just became really, really, really good. I became the best at one, which is the CEO of my life. When people are faced with difficulties or challenges, finding the strength to persist is extremely difficult. But those who do persevere in the face of adversity are very likely to achieve many great accomplishments. Sometimes overcoming hardship is necessary to attain the ultimate form of success. I was born in Venezuela in a little small town um, called Maturin. We, we were four kids at home, and my mom, my dad, my grandparents. And I was a happy kid until I was like nine years old, where I started noticing that my dad was not around because he was working. So I started eating in order to get my dad's love and my dad's attention. Until I got like 13, 14 years old, I was 314 pounds. Nobody wanted to hang out with me, right? I was by myself at school, trying to get everyone's approval, and I was the fat kid. Everyone was making fun of me. And then I became bulimic and anorexic. I stopped eating completely, and I started losing weight, and from 314 pounds to like 120 pounds in like a year and a half, uh, not in a healthy way, of course. The most painful experience of my life, which was, you know, those three, four years, they have become the best years of my life because I have been able to transform all that pain into light. So now I'm able to motivate people and to transform people's lives through my own life example, which is amazing. Alejandro's search for a healthy lifestyle led him to publish his first book, De Gordo a Galan, where he detailed his life-altering transformation. His publications garnered so much attention, in fact, he was even surprised by Dr. Oz and Despeta America. They surprised me. They knew that was like my ultimate goal and I loved Dr. Oz and I used to like be his number one fan and then they surprised me and afterwards, it's funny because I became friends with him and I went through different schools inspiring other kids. If you're going through something um, painful or if you you're struggling right now, just remember that you're not alone, that there are seven billion people on the planet and I'm sure a lot of people are going through the same thing. And uh, just become present, uh, just value what you're living right now. Just the fact that, you know, your heart is pounding, you're not paying for it. And I think that's the biggest gift we can have. That's the biggest present. <laughs>